When asked to talk about my vocation story, wow. Um, so my vocation really starts first and foremost, I think, with my family as a wife, as a mom, as a daughter, as a sister. Um, I think I've worked really hard on that first ministry, although, boy, that's been kind of touch and go. You do the best job you can, and you, and you just hope. Um, my next vocation um, kind of has evolved. I became Catholic. Don't want to give any dates here. I became Catholic and, and quickly um, ended up in a Catholic school. Um, really didn't even put a resume in. I got a phone call. I went for an interview. Jobs were really scarce in education at that time. And um, they offered me the position. And I remember after the first week thinking, I don't think I can do this. You know, God's put me in this position and I'm pretty sure I can't do this. And yet, day after day, week after week, um, I continue to problem solve. I continue to ask God for guidance. And days became weeks, weeks became months, and months became years. And I've recognized in my vocation that as time has gone on, that every step or change I've made in it, I have not had really any control over. Some of them I recognized as I was going through them. Was it going to be a grade change? Um, in one situation it was a school change, but in, in others it's been a grade change or a subject change. Um, and in one in particular it was um, moving, from moving from classroom teacher to um, principal. And um, just really recognizing um, oh boy, hold on, because God's got a huge growth opportunity for you. Um, being open to um, our vocation, I think, is really where it starts from, and um, knowing that sometimes we don't know what's going to be next. I'm in the process of that right now, um, and in a way kind of excited about it, but in a way scared to death about it. Um, being a principal, uh, and being a principal at St. Gerard's School um, and just being an educator has brought so much um, growth to me personally, but, but over the years you recognize um, what, a, what a difference maybe you have made. And you don't recognize it during the day. You don't recognize it that week. You don't, mo most of the time you don't look back and go, oh, okay, I really made a difference this week. You recognize it um, now, for me, when the students I had come back, and they're bringing their little ones to St. Gerard, and um, you, you know you played a role in that, that you were part of a huge, wonderful, faith-based community that provided an education, and they grew, they, the, your students grew up in many circumstances and wanted that for their kids. And, and if I played a small role in that, I feel like I made a small difference. And, and that's what a vocation is.